Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise to speak on the motion brought by the Honourable Member for Bruce, and I do thank him for bringing this important motion about artificial intelligence. And I do agree with most of the comments that were made by, by the Honourable Member in his, um, in his speech today, particularly that parliamentarians must do more around artificial intelligence. Deputy Speaker, artificial intelligence is one of the most transformational technologies of the 21st century. It is, in my view, equivalent with the Industrial Revolution. It is the most significant technology development since the creation of the internet itself. And while most of the public commentary on artificial intelligence focuses on its potential risk, I prefer that we also recognise the enormous opportunities and benefits that will flow from this technology. We should not be afraid of this technology, Deputy Speaker. We need to embrace it and we need how to, to work out how we can make it work in our world. We're at an exciting tipping point in the way the world operates and the technology advancement we are seeing around AI will be a major and exciting change in the world's economic development. It's very important, therefore, Deputy Speaker, that Australia is on the front foot with this. And the, I note that the, member, the Honourable Member for Bruce did say it's important that governments do get on the front foot with it, and I, I support that. That's why I think it's a shame, for example, that it hasn't been proposed by the Albanese Labor government that there is a minister for the digital economy, for example, because this would really assist to drive the nation forward on this very important front of AI. It's a shame, for example, that this government in its last budget did not prioritise investment in AI. There was no new funding in the budget for AI. Instead, there was roughly $20 million per year for five years paid for by redirecting funding from within the industry portfolio. And I do note that some parts of industry weren't particularly impressed with the budget. For example, the CPO of Sapia AI, Barb Hyman, said, and this is a quote, this is a massive missed opportunity from the federal government to surge ahead in what is fast becoming the race to not only pioneer but leverage new AI technologies. The innovation is time sensitive. By the time it is a focus globally, it will be too late. So, Deputy Speaker, there are significant economic opportunities for Australia. These include the emergence of new businesses and more jobs whether they are pure digital economy businesses or businesses looking to be supported by AI. The changing nature of jobs that will expand education offerings from universities to VET and into the school education system. The much needed improvement to productivity that our country needs, enabling businesses to achieve more and also retaining and enhancing our international competitiveness as other high tech countries accelerate their uptake of AI. Deputy Speaker, there are challenges that can be addressed, and it is important that these challenges are managed by government, rather than to be used by government to stifle opportunity. For example, regulation will be required for the use of data in terms of attribution, transparency and misinformation. National security matters will need to be addressed as the power of AI will have profound reach into our security. Legal frameworks will need to be established. These are vitally important to maintaining Australia's high global standing of having stable governance structures while protecting the use by citizens and operations of businesses for all that AI provides. There will be ethical considerations that will need navigation. Business models will need regulation. Data security and individual privacy will need to be addressed, and that's one of the issues that must remain paramount. Job displacement will need a supporting education and training policies. And finally, the way artificial intelligence engages with and collaborates with humans or the human interaction requirements will need to be carefully managed. Other countries are developing their approach to AI, whilst our current government appears to have missed another opportunity through the lack of investment in the budget. Let's hope that the next budget does fix that mistake from the last. So therefore, Deputy Speaker, to conclude, the Australian government now needs to move quickly. Otherwise, we're at risk of missing out on business investment, economic growth, new jobs, wealth generation and an improvement in lifestyle. 
with a government that has so far appears to be lacking in focus and investment in this area. I do commend this motion, though, to the House.